Hey ladies, so um, after we talked a little bit last month about the Pinterest challenge and kind of getting ourselves ready to be a part of that to really boost our traffic on our sites, um, several of you had questions about Pinterest, specifically about how to share things, what to share, um, about how to kind of boost traffic organically that way. And then several of you had specific questions about Tailwind. And so I wanted just to <clears throat> go through my routine. Um, I post every Monday morning and so I take I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes after I hit publish and do some things right then and go into my tailwind and schedule things. And um, so I'm just going to walk through how I do that. You're probably going to hear my kiddos in the back because they are wide awake and ready for life. So right now I'm bribing them to play Play-Doh in the background um, quietly. So we'll see. And there may be some ladies who pop on so you might hear a chime. Um, so we'll do that and I'll introduce you to them, you know, if they do pop in, but it's early for most people. So, you know, whatever. This is just when I get things done. All right. So I am, <coughs> excuse me, just going to share my screen and talk through what I am doing. Okay. So I'm just going to share my whole desktop so you're going to see everything. All right. So I publish a post every Monday and usually I go in and do my tailwind stuff on Monday. Sometimes I go in later on in the week. I try to post one original piece and then go in and clean up another piece through the week, but sometimes life gets in the way and that doesn't happen. All right, so hold on, I'm gonna go get them to be quiet for a second. All right, so, all right, so here's the post. So as soon as it's published, I share it in a lot of places. Um, I, I'm not gonna show you the Facebook piece because that takes a while. And if you wanna talk about engagement on Facebook, I'll talk with you about that in a different thing because that is just always changing. So whatever I say today, tomorrow, it will have changed. All right, so the first thing I do is pin everything to my blog board. And I have two, okay? So I have one where I pin every image that is within the piece. And then I have another one where I just pin the vertical pins. And the vertical pins are really what do the best on Pinterest. Um, and we talked about having the, the long pins. So it's like 700 by something. I'm not good with the measurements. That's one of the only things that I pay for every month is um, Canva. And I pay for that and I love that because it's like, I don't know, 12 or $13 a month, which is, you know, I feel like really reasonable. I get a whole lot of images in there. Um, I could, you know, buy images somewhere else and pull them in and it still will resize them and do things with them the way that I need it to do. Um, and it keeps them for me. Okay, so I don't have to worry about storing them anywhere else. And so I can have my brand things in there. So my colors I use, um, this pretty light pink, this off-white, the browns that I do. I use the same colors every time. Um, and I try to use the same fonts, the same general sizing. That way um, people can quickly recognize, you know, that is my brand. They see, I always put my site name down here. I've played with um, some like logo branding things. I don't know, I may do Fiverr and let them design something for me. Design is not my thing. Um, I am very good at tell me how to do it and I'll follow the directions and then give me a cookie cutter so I can just keep doing it that way. But I'm not fantastic at designing graphics and things like that. Now Lee is. So, you know, if you ever have a problem like that and you need an idea, oh, she is a fantastic resource to give ideas about that. So anyway, all right. So I've pinned those to Pinterest. 
I have already shared to Facebook, so I'm not going to do that. I always tweet it. I don't know. It's just throw it out there. There are people who follow me on Twitter, even though I don't really engage there. It's a platform I don't really understand. I feel like they're always, you know, just yelling things. I always share it to Google. Someone told me early on that Google loves Google, so that that's really good for SEO. And then randomly stumbled upon, I don't know if you all use stumbled upon, but <clears throat> it actually sends quite a bit of traffic to my site. I'm not sure who started stumbling my content, but at some point it did, and it kind of rivals Facebook some days. Anyway, all right, so this post is about marriage. I always tag it married life instead of Christianity. Just it goes further that way. And it's not really manipulative, I don't feel like, because it is about married life. Or um, sometimes I write about parenting. Sometimes I write about anxiety. So that fits in like wellness and emotional health. So anyway, and then I tag it. My tags are usually, let's see. Christian marriage, biblical marriage. Oh, look, and it tells me. <laughs> and I've apparently spelled it wrong at some point. Marriage. I spell marriage wrong all the time. I don't know. How do you blog about marriage and spell marriage wrong? Okay, so playful words. And let's see. Are there any other tags in this one? No, that probably will do it. All right, and then save. So it stumbled. And I always stay here because stumbled upon gets a little. All right. So next I'm going to go to Pinterest and um, I always go to a different browser. I've got um, Chrome works great for some things, but my theme in my site does not respond well to Chrome. I don't know. We've tried it so many different ways. So anyway, I like Chrome for Pinterest and Tailwind. So I come back over to my Pinterest and I'm going to move my vertical pin for that post. I'm going to repin it in my best of so that I don't forget to do that later. All right. So over in my Pinterest, oh, that's not what I meant to do. All right, so I've got my blog board and I've got my best of, and I have them at the top. All right, so that if people ever just you know come in to check out my site on my on Pinterest, and I send people to my Pinterest a lot because it it really sends like ninety eight percent of my traffic comes through Pinterest, and this takes the least amount of time in all of the social sharing and all of the things that you do. So I just feel like if I invest in it and foster it, it's gonna, you know, do well. So, all right, so I've got my Hope Joy in Christ blog board, I've got my best of Hope Joy, and that is set up specifically for this Pinterest challenge that we're talking about getting ready for. All right, um, <clears throat> let's see, what else did I wanna tell you about this? I'm not sure. Okay, so I spend about half of my time in my Pinterest routine actually on Pinterest um, and then half of my time on Tailwind. So I'm going to start with what I do on Pinterest. Okay, so I come over here and see if it's told me it has any suggested pins for me. And it's a lot of fun now because sometimes it suggests my pins and that just gives me like all kind of warm fuzzies inside. But it didn't have any suggestions yet. I guess I'm earlier than it. All right, so then I go over into the analytics piece. So it's important that you have your um, Pinterest account be a business account because it will tell you what pins are doing well, um, where they're doing well, and that really is, is super helpful. Okay, so over here in the analytics, I'm going to go into an overview. And it's going to give you a lot of numbers that I'm sure they mean a whole lot to some people, but I don't know. I don't care about all of that as much as I care about how many saves or clicks a particular pin is getting. So that's what I'm doing. I go to my top impressions. Okay, and it's important too that you are pinning your own content because for a while I wasn't really invested in it. And so my top impressions on Pinterest, they weren't always my pins. So 
Anyway, here are the pins that are doing the best right now. Um, and so I am going to just right click and open these pins in a new tab. And I'm going to repin them because they're doing well already. And so repinning them is just going to give them an extra boost. Now I'm going to repin them to my own boards because. Um, I use Tailwind to schedule out my group boards. That way I don't overwhelm them with duplicate pins and I don't, I don't ever want to overstay my welcome in somebody else's board. That's kind of my thought. Um, and it's their board and sometimes I forget what their rules are in their board. So I, I know in Tailwind, I know I've already got that scheduled out and I leave that there. So just in my boards. Um, and I've penned these a few times. I don't want to get tagged for spam, so I'm just going to put in my support other bloggers board. Um, but it could go in my biblical mar marriage board. Um, but I know that I pinned it there yesterday, so I kind of keep a running track in my mind of what I've pinned, where I've pinned it. The point is to pin it because people don't come into your Pinterest account and look through your whole board usually. Other bloggers do that, but your tribe is not really doing that. Pinterest sees that you pin it, they put it into this smart feed thing, and they decide when it goes out, who it goes out to, so it just matters that you're pinning it, all right, so I'm just going to pin these, and I'm so excited that it's these, because these are some of my more recent pins, and sometimes my top impression, well, you'll see, it comes from one that I don't write about a lot, I just wrote about it once, and it drives me crazy that a lot of my traffic comes from there. Okay, so you can go into your Pinterest profile and look at things, and it'll show you more impressions, um, which pieces are doing well. I always look at the clicks, okay? So this is talking to me about who clicked through the whole thing. They've looked at it better. All right, the best gift for my husband, that gets a lot of attention right now just because of the way I worded it. And I've thought about going back to reword it, but it's not deceptive. Um, it talks about how to speak words of affirmation to a husband you don't always respect. So anyway, oh, awesome, babe. I wondered where that was. All right, so I look for my pins that have the highest number of clicks. All right, now I've already saved these. Um, but here's another one that has a high number of clicks. So I'm going to go ahead and open that in a new tab. Um, 68. All right. I would open this one, but I know for a fact it's going to be in the next piece because it always is. This one does really well for me. Um, everything else is kind of low numbers. I look at anything that's close to 100 um, and repin those. And... All right, so that is what I pull from those. Um, down here, these are my group boards, and I always keep an eye on it to see which boards are doing well to make sure that um, I stay in those and make sure that I kind of come out of the ones that aren't doing well. And I'm in a lot of group boards, so I don't know, it varies. All right, so that's that. I've got that popped up over here. I'm going to go ahead and save that. All right, then we're going to come back up. Okay, I'm going to go back to my overview and analytics. And I'm going to come over here to my activity from my site. Okay, and then I'm going to repin quite a few of those. Now you see in the top impressions here, some more of the same. Um, the best gift to my husband, the words of appreciation. All right, but here I'm looking at my clicks. All right, and you're going to see that there are going to be some here that weren't in the other because this is over the last 30 days and it's like an overall thing. Um, and so I've already repinned those, but I'm going to repin these. This is my post that does like fantastic. Um, but, but then my bounce rate is really high because they go into it and it's not, you know, anything inappropriate, which I think maybe they're thinking it's going to be. Anyway, um, thinking about that. All right, so then this one is really high. This one's really high, but I already repinned that one. But this is going to be a different pin too, okay? So it tells you... <clears throat> different pin from a different person's board, I guess. All right, so I'm just opening all of the ones that are 
like close to 100 or over 100, and it is. It's going to give me a lot of duplicate content, sort of. And I'm going to repin them. I don't go down too far. It's going to be a lot of the same ones. Um, but I'm doing, oh, that one's good. A different picture with it. Sometimes I go back in and create a different image to reshare. And so I'm looking to see what that is. Um, okay. All right. Um, and again, here it tells you what boards they've been pinned to that are doing really well. And so you can see all of that. So I'm not great with analytics. I just know go repin the ones that are being repinned. Um, and repin them um, kind of as you have like your own schedule. So for me, Monday works to do it. That way it's done. I get it out of the way. I've repinned all of my best content. It goes back into Pinterest smart feed and recycles. It just kind of creates momentum. And so I'm just throwing it out into this board that I don't worry about because I know I did this yesterday. And so I kind of go through different boards, my boards. Okay. Not my group boards. My group boards are for, for tilling and we're getting there. We're almost done here. Um, and later on, I'll go through some of the bloggers that I follow. I trust their content so that I have them. I don't know about half of my content and then about half of their content, but Monday I share from my tribe. So I kind of go through a rotation different times of the week. All right. So I've got all of that done. Now I'm not completely done with Pinterest because we're going to move over to Tailwind. Oh, but I could go back and close my site. All right. So now on let me double check. So we've been sick and I know I'm a little bit behind. I think I pinned Monday. I pinned Monday. Okay, I don't need to check there. So I need to get my next piece. All right, so I always pin my vertical, my good verticals to my best of board. So I can go to my best of board and I am going to schedule them in Tailwind now. Now, for Tailwind in Chrome, you need an extension. You see it up here. It looks like this little, I don't know, tail, I guess, blowing in the wind, right? They're super creative. But it stays up here. Once you install it in Chrome, it's super easy. You just go to Google and... So you go to Google, you search Tailwind app, um, and then install the extension. Okay, so what it does is gives you, when you are hovering over your pin, it gives you this little option. Okay, so I'm going to click this so it adds it to my Tailwind account, and it takes a second. Yes, Michaela. All right, and then I'm going to save it for later because I have several that I'm going to add today. And this is my oldest little blessing, Michaela, who just woke up. And I'm just talking to my friends about Pinterest. All right, so save for later. And um, all right, so <sighs> I need to do my post from Wednesday too while I'm here. So you can save several for later. And it shows you what you're doing. Close it out. All right. So usually I do um, a regular Pinterest vertical and then an infographic vertical. But today's post is a guest post. So <clears throat> they have another one. And I need to go grab that one and add it to. I'm glad I'm talking this out with you all because I would have forgotten. Um, all right. So we're going to add that and close. Let's see, and theirs is like sneaky hidden. So, pardon me for just a second while I go find that. No, let's see, I can search my own pens, can't I? It won't be in my best of board though, it'll be. Let's see, did I add it over here? Nope, I'm just so behind and so sick. Last week we have had some crazy funk and it just has been no fun. All right, so let's see, playful words. And let's search my pins. 
because I did repin it from that. There it is. Okay, so this is the pin, and they made theirs a longer one, which is great. So I'm going to add that to my best of as well because it was a hope. It was a guest post. And I'm going to schedule it. I can just do that. Oh, nope, I don't want to do that from here. I want to schedule it from my best of board. That way it tracks better on my analytics. Uh, back to my board. Ah, there you are. Okay. All right. So I've got all of these in here. And I'm going to close that. All right, and I'm gonna close my Pinterest because I'm done with that for a moment. And I'm gonna come over into my Tailwind. So let's talk through Tailwind for a second. All right, I use the pay, I'm sorry, I use the free version of Tailwind. Um, and I, I don't know, I just try to do as much as I can for as little as I can. Just, this is just a fun ministry and I'm not to a point where I'm making money. So that's kind of my thought process. And even then, I don't know, I kind of live my life frugally. So it's just easier that way. All right. So when you create a Tailwind account over here on your left side, you have this, um, excuse me, you have this um, menu, this little dashboard where you can do what you need to do. All right. So to do this for free effectively, and, and I use this so that I keep all of my pins on a schedule. Like they're all scheduled to be pinned, they're being repinned um, consistently, you know, so that it's not just my newer posts that are getting attention, it's the older posts as well. And um, I was kind of losing my mind trying to keep up with them to know had I pinned them, had I not pinned them, how long ago had I pinned them, where had I pinned them. Um, and so this really just keeps that all organized for you. Um, okay, so that's kind of the logistics or the reason behind it. Um, but how to use it for free, right? Because you only get 100 pins for free, but then you can pin things yourself from it. So let me show you. So I go to my schedule. Um, in my schedule, I know that I'm going to pin every day. Um, but for a while, it, it took a while to get into that routine. And so I just picked two days a week and I created my own schedule. Um, I could actually go back in now and change that. But I don't want to mess up um, my, my pin rotation. And so as you come in here, your weekly pin schedule, it will be populated. They'll give you a smart schedule, what they think are the best times. Um, and you decide how many pins, honestly. So let's say today's Monday. Let's say I wanted to pin 50 pins every day. And I try to pin 50 of my own and 50 from other people. So about half and half. And um, I know that I pin in the morning um, because that's like my time. The kids are not quite ready for school yet. You know, whatever it is, you know, when you pin. So what I do is I set my times for after I would be in bed. That way I know even if it didn't happen in the morning, I can get to it before I go to bed. And those pins have, and those pins haven't gone away, right? Because if you miss your time, it goes away. Um, so that's kind of the thing. So I have 50 pins set up for after bedtime for me, which is usually 8.30. <laughs> huh, I feel old every time I say that out loud. So 9.45 or 10.30 or 11, whenever that, you know, that's fine. They're just arbitrary numbers I threw out there so that it would schedule my pins for me and I go back in and manually pin. So how do you do that, right? Let's say I was going to set up Monday. I would just click on this pretty little add a time slot and you just slide it to whatever time you want. So if you pin at night, um, you can schedule it, you know what I mean, for at night, however you want it. I just schedule it so I know it'll be there for me in the morning. <laughs> All right, so that for me is gonna be night. Anytime after 8.30, I'm just gonna add a time slot and it puts it out here. Now you can have it like time slots that won't, Move if you want to shuffle your queue. You can have them tell you the best time slots. I don't know. That is just, that would require a lot more planning on my part. 
Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's the same time. You can move it around if you want, and I'm just gonna add as many as I like. So I like 50, and if it's not what you wanted, you, uh, you can come over and delete it. Okay, just that easy. It's super easy to work within it. So I know that I will at least get on here two days a week because I post two days a week. So I post on Monday and Wednesday. So I have my time set for Tuesday and Thursday because, you know, if I was sick or something was crazy and I push publish, I will at least get on here the next day and do all of my social sharing and promoting. All right, so I don't want those times. I'm just still gonna leave them now so I don't forget later. All right, and almost done deleting them, maybe. Yes, all right, so, so that's how you set up your schedule and set it up for whatever you want it to be, all right? It'll also show you your published pins, your board lists. Honestly, I just don't go in and check that stuff very often. I like to get all of my analytics and know what's going directly from Pinterest because it's going to Pinterest. I feel like they know what they're talking about. Um, okay, so you have drafts, which is where we're gonna go next. That's where we saved everything that we just did. All right, and it's important. Sometimes there's a glitch in Tailwind and it will not pull over your pin description. Okay, so you wanna make sure that if it's not there that you populate that with what you want it to say because that's how it's going into Pinterest. Um, I always have mine be kind of the title of the post and then, I don't know, hashtags have come back. I'll probably regret using so many hashtags later if they take hashtags away, but for right now, I am putting my hashtags out there, all of the things that I write out, you know, my niche, niche related words. In Pinterest, what do people search? They search biblical marriage advice, Christian marriage, Christian living, those kind of things. Okay, so here are our pins that we're working with. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is add them to my tribes. All right, and I belong to four tribes right now. With Tailwind, you can be a part of five tribes for free. Um, and then after that, you have to start adding. And two of these I've been kind of testing, and they seem to be duplicate um, <clears throat> contributors. So I'm probably going to drop one. I just haven't decided which one yet. So anyway, that's kind of there. So I'm going to add it to my tribes. Hooray! It's submitted. Super easy. Do you see how super easy that is? You're just clicking which tribes you're adding it to and going with it. I don't add it to all the tribes all the time because I don't always write about marriage, but on Monday, I do. All right, and it's telling me that I've added this to it, um, but that's because sometimes I have two pins in the same post. It's telling me I've added this post already, um, but, oh, I didn't act fast enough, my bad. Okay, so go back to it. I'm adding this. And it tells you hooray, and you get excited every time. Hooray! Excited. All right, so here we are. All right, and add a tribe. Okay, so I'm going to add it to my tribes. Oh, I didn't want to add that one twice. Why is that in there twice? Shoot. Okay, well, I don't want it in there twice. I'll go back and fix that. Okay, so here they are. Then I'm going to add them to my group boards. All right, now these are all about marriage, so I have a lot of group boards, which is probably not the best thing, um, but every time I go in to take them out, they are doing well, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Talking and not paying attention. All right, biblical marriage, it kind of scrolls you down, so you remember where you were in your list, which is good. And when I'm not talking about it while I'm doing it, this usually just takes a few minutes. So I know it's taking a little bit longer. I've also been muting myself while I yell at my kids to be quiet. So just real life, right? Okay. Faith and friends. Stay in the 
family, marriage, poor guys, Christ, not school, nope, 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 yep. It doesn't give you um, a limit, so you can save it to as many as you belong to that you believe are performing well. I'm skipping a couple because they're on my list to cut. They're not performing well. All right, so those are my marriage group boards. Then down here, I'm just going to schedule all my drafts. It's going to take all of those and over here, okay, so it's going to take me to my scheduled pins board, and it has just kind of put them all at the top. And over here, it tells you, you know, what's scheduled, where it's scheduled. I have them scheduled out through April, okay? So once it's dropped in there, I come over to the right hand side and shuffle the queue because it's going to mix them into my queue that's already there. Um, and then I'm going to fill in my time slots because every time I shuffle it, I don't know, it takes me from 50 to just a few, which is, you know, a quirk. There are quirks. They're still working on Tailwind, but it's super easy and, you know, you can do so much with it for free. So I'm going to shuffle them and then I'm going to repopulate them. And then here I see I've got 50 pins scheduled for tomorrow. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and pin them today because I'm here and that's what I'm doing. All right, so over here on the side of the pin, it says pin now. That's what I'm doing. And I kind of start at the bottom because it comes up. And I'm going to just slam through these 50 pins and be done with that piece. Super easy. Now, if you have the paid version, you set it out there and it pins them for you in the times you selected. But because I don't want to pay for it just yet, I am not doing that. All right, so I'm pinning them. And then after I finish pinning my pins, I'm going to go over to my tribes. And I always reciprocate at least what I add to the tribe. I go back and pin double. I just want to be a blessing to others. Plus, I need to pin or I try to pin at least as much as my own content from others' content. And these tribes are, they're conservative Christian tribes. I can trust what their content is. And so it's good. Plus, it tells me how well their pin is doing so I can pin the best pins. All right, so that's all I'm using from this bit here under the publish, okay? They have a pin, an Instagram piece, um, which I've heard really good things about. I just don't really use Instagram, so. All right, so I'm gonna come over to my tribes. <clears throat> and it's gonna pull my top tribe first, which I'm gonna come back to after, actually, because I pin a lot of these boards already and and you can see all right so we'll I'll just talk through no I'm gonna go here because that's where I need all right you have a list right so you can have up to five it's going to show you who's here it's also going to show you how many um, are new how many are yours um, as you go through that all right so I'm in this tribe it shows you all it shows you how many are new, how many of you are yours, how many you've shared, how many you've skipped, like if there's some that really aren't good, um, to what you want, you know, for your niche or for your readers, or you're like, they never click those things, you can skip it and never see it again. There's a little button right here, like an eyeball cross through. So you can skip that if you want to. Um, all right, but what I look for is this little blue box right here on top of the pin. It tells me how many times this pin has been repinned. Um, and so some of them are new, brand new. They haven't been pinned before, so there's not a number, so you don't know. So if it looks like a good fit, I'll go ahead and pin it. Or if it's from like the thin place, I love her stuff. I always pin her stuff. Um, so I kind of scroll down and I grab the ones that have a really high number. And so like you can see this one has 220, but
but I know that my um, tribe is not going to click this. They like pretty faces and pretty couples. Um, so this one, this one's been shared over a thousand times. So I'm going to schedule it. I'm going to come down here, type a board name. Let's see, 100 plus books every Christian should read. I'm going to add that to my board reading list and add to queue. Right, super easy. Now I added four or five, so I'm going to pin 10 or 15 from this board. All right, and I'm kind of going to go through and look at the ones you have done really well. Like, wow, this is rocking. And I wouldn't normally pin this because it's hard to read just looking at it. I like the words to be bigger so that as I'm looking at it, I don't have to stop what I'm doing to read it. But I can look at it. It's a quote by Mother Teresa. That's pretty. So I'm going to add it to my quotes board, which I called Things That Nourish My Soul. And I probably should rename it. At the time, I was being cutesy, and Pinterest really wants you to be practical. So it should say inspiring Christian quotes or something. So it comes up in a feed, but I have done that. So planning Bible time, lesson plans. I'm going to add this to my homeschooling board. And that's three. And I'm kind of, excuse me, keeping track of how many, just grabbing the best of the ones I see. Oh, look at that. That's really good. I really like the, um, yeah. excuse me, the faith along the way. She really hits my tribe too. So I'm going to add this one to my motherhood. Um, how to be a servant. I'm going to add this to my womanhood. Um, focus on your quiet time. Can go into Bible study. So what is that? Six. I'm going to say I have an anxiety board that does really well. That's seven. Um, my tribe doesn't care about blogging stuff, so I'm going to ignore that one. In the leadership, that'll go really well in my marriage board. Let's see, that's eight. Oh, it's given me a little <clears throat> warning here that I have already pinned this. Um, and so I'm going to not pin it now. Thank you for telling me. I like that. I don't know how Tailwind knows what I've pinned and what's in my stuff, but it does. Oh, that one's really cute and super easy. Okay, so I'm going to add that to my womanhood. Now I've lost track because I'm talking. Okay, usually I keep a little tally sheet over here. I think that was eight. Nine. Uh, oh, that's good. That's good. Ten. Eleven. Excuse me. Okay, so then I'm going to go to my next board because I shared in all these boards. So I'm going to go back and reciprocate in all these boards. And I'm just going to do it and quit talking because I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Um, actually, I'm going to stop because I don't want this to be too long, and I'll come back to that. So I'm going to go back. So once I schedule those, I need to go back over to my scheduled pins, okay, over here on the left side, and actually pin them. Okay, so it usually throws them right in the top. Oh, 11, I was off count. All right, and, and literally, I'm just going to pin them now. Just like that. It takes just a few minutes. I usually schedule 10 10 or 15 minutes on a Monday to do this in tribes, um, five or 10 minutes every day to make sure that I'm pinning everything in the morning and that's it. That is Tailwind, literally. Um, it took a little longer to talk through than I thought, um, but it is super fast and easy. I'm sorry, this is my youngest blessing, Amber, say hi. And I'm going to be done. I'll limit a minute. I'm going to be done talking to you for me. If you have any questions, just shoot me a message. It's super easy. Once you get into this flow and this rhythm of doing it every day, it really boosts your traffic so much. Um, so, all right. I am going to go take care of her because she's hungry and I will talk to you all later.